everyone. I'm Angela. Welcome. If you are new and welcome back, if you are returning, this is Angela's Fashion Mix. And this is the first of a few videos with regard to holiday attire. So we are quickly approaching the Christmas holiday, but we can definitely start for Thanksgiving if you're looking for something just a little different for Thanksgiving or any regular day. So this particular video is going to highlight some possibilities, maybe some things to consider for your holiday attire. Also, I've had a few of you mention some items that you've seen with regard to how I put a look together that you did not necessarily see how it was going to come out in the beginning. So a recommendation. So if you're out and about, you're looking for something specific. Or if something catches your eye and you can't quite see the finished based on what you see in the store, if you can return it, it may be a good idea to go ahead and buy it and play with it when you get home. Sometimes that look is not going to come together in the store. You may have something in mind, but that finished look may not appear until you start to accessorize it and put it with what you already have. So consider that the end versus the beginning. So anything that I share here is just a consideration with regard to possibly creating a new look with what you buy or with what you already have so that we can maximize what's in our closet. Over the years, I have seen and have talked to women that buy something, they get it to the closet, and that's where it lives for a very long time. And ultimately, what tends to happen is at some point it may become a giveaway because it was forgotten or you just didn't get to the point of figuring out how to use that item. What I recommend based on what I do is that when you get it home, within a couple of days, see if you can create a look from it early on. If you cannot and you see no vision for it, although you liked it, if you see no vision for it, you may want to get it back to the store in a timely fashion or go ahead and wear it within the first couple of three weeks that you have it, especially if it's in season. You may be missing some opportunities where you could have replaced that piece with something else that you enjoy. So today, with regard to holiday, I have five looks and we often fall into red for the holidays and one of the looks does include red however there are great ways to wear black and we can also wear green we can wear any color we choose however the looks that i'm showing are just for dressing up a little bit the holidays are a great time to wear those things you haven't worn in a while or to wear something in a different way because you purchased something that you didn't have the last time you wore it. Mixing and matching those things is gonna definitely create a lot of opportunity for you. So I'm starting with black. Black is totally appropriate for the holidays if you so choose, because you can definitely glam it up and create some sparkle for the holiday. And what I'm starting with, this look was actually built around a piece I happened to find in a store called Gabe's, G-A-B-E-S, and it's a piece that I wouldn't buy to wear as what it is. This is a dress. This was sold as a dress. Now, obviously, a, not a dress for me. However, because of the length of it, I'm going to wear it as a top. When I saw it, that was what I saw. And I've mentioned to you before Sometimes we have to just look at a piece and see if we can use it other than what it was designed for. Now, it has nice detail. It has the tie here in the rear. At some point, I'm going to stitch that so this one piece and get rid of all of the, the extra here because it has a zipper on the side, so it'll be easy to get in and out of. It has an adjustable strap, and the sequins drew me to it. So we're going to create this look from this dress and it was $9.99. Now this is by no means a high-end piece. However, 
accessorizing it and putting it in with something that is more high end will give you a different kind of look. And this was the look was I was going for. So that's why I'm putting it in. And I'm putting it in with a crop pant. It's a capri. Now with it being fall and cooler, heading into winter, of course my ankles will be out. So I have to pick and choose when I will wear this based on the temperature. But pretty much for December, I'm probably going to be good unless it snows. So we're going to put this with these pants. We're going to finish this look with this jacket here. The satin detail on the lapel is what's going to make this really nice together. And that will be look number one. So even though it's all black, it still will work to dress up for the holiday. So for this look, for my next look, again, I'm going with a long pant this time. As you see, I have a lot of black. I've mentioned that before. And I have a lot for those of you that are new because it is so versatile. It serves in a lot of capacities. So with the long wider leg pant, I'm doing this particular style. I'm gonna add a camisole, just a black camisole with this. That's my underneath. And with this, I am adding this luscious, absolutely luscious color here. And I believe they're calling it teal. It is velvet in this blazer. I love the collar style, it's very feminine. And it comes belted. It came in a variety of colors. There was black, there was burgundy, there was, I believe, two other colors. But this just drew me to it because it is not green. Green is definitely, of course, appropriate for the holiday. But for something a little bit different and not traditional, this is a great alternative. I think this is a very versatile color. This would be pretty with navy, of course, off-white. It can be worn with black. Lots of possibilities with this color. And I love how soft the velvet is. I love the sheen that it's giving and the style of the, the lapel. And although I tied it in the back so that it will cinch the waist a little bit for what it looks like from the front, as you'll see, I think what I'm going to do is add a button here. It didn't come with the button. Some of them did, and I'm not sure what the difference was. I couldn't couldn't really get a handle on that, but some didn't have the button on it. So I think it'll look better and more tailored with a button. It also has pockets, and I like that. So I got this at Macy's, and it was $99, and it was half off. It's by International Concepts, a brand I really do like, and I think this will serve me well. So in Angela's true form, we've got some black and white, and we are gonna be putting that with a black velvet capri. Now, I could put this black velvet with the jacket for an option. However, for this look, I'm going with this. And I added the bow detail there. I thought it was nice as it was, but just to create something with a little bit of interest, I added it. And we're putting this in to this mix. This was given to me by a dear friend a few years ago, and it is a cami. Has the little jacket with it, and it is so sharp. I really like that. I've worn it several times, and I love it with the velvet option. So black and white for the holiday. Now we can definitely do red. And for the red, I am bringing back the wide leg pant. And what I love about this jacket is the fur detail. And it's on the, the cuff as well as here in the shawl, uh, the shawl lapel. Single button. And this is vintage. I've had it several years. It has pockets, the slant pocket there. And that's a great option for the holiday. I've added just the wide leg pant back with it. 
just to create this look. Easy dressing, although very stylish. So accessorizing it is just going to kick it up a little bit. So if you don't want to do that and you don't want to get all dressed up, you can definitely elevate a casual look. And you can start that look with denim. And this is a great way to do so. Now, what I really like about the Capri is that it's a great opportunity in fall and winter to give you a chance to wear a pump. You can wear a booty with it, or you can tuck it inside of a long leg boot. So those are great reasons why I like them. And if you're not going to just kick it all the way, you can definitely add a top that has some flair and festive feel to it. And this has a multitude of colors with the gold, the silver, the pewter, and the bronze. So we're going to play off of the bronze in this for this look. And to it, I'm adding a denim jacket. So the black here with the charcoal gray, with the sparkle on the hem there, and the sparkle here is definitely going to give us holiday. And that's creating the casual look. Now... For what I have on, something very simple. If we want to do the holiday green, this actually is my very favorite shade of green. And it has, I like the ruche sleeve there with a the little ruffle and has the elastic in the cuff there, has the collar in the same. And I paired it with what we used to call back in the day, a culotte or gaucho or whatever. So wide leg crop pant. And I have put a mule with it. And because the belt has some sparkle on it, I've added the mule, which has uh, some rhinestones on the foot there. So that's a little bit of a heel just to dress it up a little bit. And this has pockets as well. I like pockets on my pants. So this is a great way to just add a little bit of holiday with the color and a little bit of sparkle. And to it, I added... A little bit of a sparkle on the earring there a bolder earring because the top is so solid there is no necklace or anything so you definitely can go bolder on the ear so these are the looks i'm presenting today i hope you find something that you can connect to and i will be back at the end so starting with look one this appears to be a suit the two pieces are working well together although they did not come together so that little dress that I showed you is creating the sparkle beneath the blazer. I love the combination of the little sequin top, which is a converted dress with the satin on the lapel. I've added some sparkle with my accessories that includes a brooch as well as the cute little handbag pulling that detail out to coordinate with the sequins in the top. I've added a peep toe and a patent leather and that's the look. Here's the jacket. It is cinched more at the waist because I pulled the back into a tie. I've added pearl detail with this look and just a solid little handbag there and an evening bag. I love the collar. I love the collar. I love all of this with this particular look. And with the pearl, I added the belt there. Now, of course, with the waterfall and the length of the necklace, can definitely wear this without the belt simplifies it a little bit and it gives another look to the overall outfit I absolutely do love this color with the black and I love it with the pearl details here I'm loving it for our next look in the black and white I have the velvet cropped pant and I've added the mule. The mule has some rhinestone in it. And the statement necklace here has a lot of detail at the neckline. If you want to just kick it up a little bit, you can always do a simple outfit and just go heavier on the jewelry. A statement piece is going to a lot of times make the look. I've added a handbag in the patent leather with the pearl detail on the handle. And that is creating the overall look here. And you can see the bows on the hem love the red and black this is a sharp look it's dressy it can go into many spaces and i have added the black little handbag with it and the shoe that i chose is a basic patent leather pump 
that works well with the handbag and I love the fur detail on this blazer I've added accessories with the pearl necklace and as you see that falls nicely into the neckline the fur is on the cuff and the full length of the lapel I'm absolutely loving that I love this blazer it has served me very well for a very long time and I added a simpler detail on the earring because of the boldness of the necklace red and black for the holiday always a great opportunity to wear those two colors together and this is a great look and for the casual if you don't want to go all in for those moments where you're just dropping by someone's house or if you're just going out to lunch or to dinner but you still want to be festive and in the feel of the holiday a great way to just add a little something is with the glammed up camisole something that has some sparkle in it and here I picked one color I picked out the bronze and added a bronze handbag you've seen that bag before that was vintage and I am working that color into this overall look for a casual look combinations of charcoal gray the pewter the black the silver and the bronze in the top gives a lot of opportunities to mix this with some other possibilities and I added a booty to complete the look and that is a great way to bring elevation and a little bit of glam to a casual look So that's it for the looks. So I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully there was an opportunity for you to maybe create something from your wardrobe that gives you some holiday opportunities. I'll also mention that several of you have made a comment about I needed to smile more. Well, I do smile. I'm smiling now, I do believe. But in the moments that I'm showing the looks, it is challenging. I have heard that all of my life, it does not in any way reflect what's in my heart or in my spirit. It just does not always translate to my face in the video. So take my smile moments and just spread them out through the video. But that is why it's not always there. It is just in those particular spaces, you just don't see it. I thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe while you're here. And like and share the video. I look forward to sharing again on Wednesday. And we're going to be doing a couple more opportunities with regard to holiday looks. And as we get into December, I'm excited about December because it's Christmas, of course. It is my favorite time of year. But it is also my birthday month. So I will be bringing you some hopefully wonderful and exciting things in December. I look forward to that. But until then, don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye.